Hi, I'm Brian, a Pardot and Salesforce consultant with Rotiv. In this video, I'm going to talk about profiles, permission sets, and roles, what they are, and what the differences are. So let's go into the setup menu so we have something to look at. Information about profiles, permission sets, and roles, it's all going to be contained in the setup or the administrative area. If you click under Users, under Administration, you can see this is where you can configure those three different features, permission sets, profiles, and roles. Now, all three of these have to do with user access within the system. So what can users within your company, within the Salesforce org, do? What features do they have access to? And what data do they have access to? And what can they do with that data? The most base level control here is the profile. Every user within Salesforce must have a profile. And you know, system administrator is one of those profiles. Standard user is another profile. You can create custom profiles as well. So maybe on in your company you have an inside sales team. And members of that inside sales team need to have particular access to records or objects within the system. You can create those custom profiles. Let me click back on profiles here. So here's a list of all of the possible profiles that we have in our demo org. And we've got a couple custom ones here too. Now, if we're looking at a user record, let's pull one of those up. Marty Bird, as an example, his profile currently is system administrator. You click edit, you can change that profile to any of those other active profiles we have. Standard user, solution manager, etc. But notice the red line next to profile, it is required everybody must have a profile. Permission sets are a way to provide access to features or data beyond the profile. So think of the profile as sort of your base level, you are a standard user. But perhaps there's a few standard users, maybe managers or uh, somebody on the accounting team that needs extra capabilities, extra access to different features. That's where permission sets come into play because you can create a permission set that provides access to say accounting information and then apply that to a user who happens to be a standard profile. So just think of it as a way to go above and beyond whatever that profile access is to give them extra access. Whenever you're installing um, custom apps and integrations into Salesforce, they often come along with a custom permission set that you need to apply to different users to give them access to that functionality. DocuSign, PandaDoc, Zoom, all of these things will have their own permission sets that get created. And then right here under permission set assignment is where you would apply those to the different users. Now let's talk about roles. Roles are a little bit different. So roles are not required. They're not like profiles where everybody has to have one. Most of the small businesses that we work with, they don't utilize roles, it's not necessary. Roles are here to create a hierarchy to control access to records, access to data within the system. It has nothing to do with, with features. It's all about what records can a user view within Salesforce. And it's most often represented in terms of a hierarchy. But the hierarchy of roles is almost never going to match your internal company hierarchy. It's all about data access. So let's talk about an example. Let's say that we've got a company that has a West Coast sales team and an East Coast sales team. Now, most of our small business customers, all that customer data is visible to all the users within their organization. They don't need to prevent the West Coast sales team from seeing East Coast customers or vice versa. But especially with larger organizations, this becomes more valuable to limit the access to this customer data. If somebody on the West Coast has no business reason to be able to access customer data from the East Coast, then you can limit that access within Salesforce by using roles. So think of profiles as your base level of access. Think of permission sets as extending that access to features. And then think of roles as controlling what sort of records within those objects the user has access to. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.